Right, so uh, this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well a Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 6th to April 12th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking, out the, checking out the description down below. It's uh, going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well there you can find a section of a tarot classes that I am uh, currently giving. If you are interested in learning tarot. So uh, that being said, moving to the spread straight away here. The first one, it is the topic of your week, Taurus. That is to be the Tree of uh, Wands. Followed by the energy that it is feeding and supporting the topic here, we have the Page of Cups. Followed next, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome. And that will be a big challenge in that particular case that we do have here. Uh, that will be the Magician. Uh, next, we do have the um, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. This is also a, a big one. Uh, in contrast to the uh, previous card, that will be the Seven of Cups. Then it is the impression that you are leaving into the people around. We have the Nine of Wands. And our last card, which is the Guidance that uh, Tara is offering, uh, that will be the Five of Pentacles, a very strong one as well. So what we do have for you, Taurus, is it looks like that that is going to be, well, I can't classify it as a happy week because it will be happy for those who does not have anything. And it will be a bit difficult for those that have a lot. Why? Well, it is because the energies here of the Page of Four Cups are pointing that things are changing and they are to change. Not yet. But they are going to change in the uh, a little bit of a distant future. Right now, you are only seeing the signs. Right now, you are only seeing how the circumstances are taking a, a different turn. And the good thing about those energies with the Page of Cups is that you will be able to predict on your own accord what the change is going to affect. Obviously, many things are changing these days with the, the, uh, with the coronavirus. But I'm talking personally about your life. So you are going to see what the change is going to affect, how the change is going to take place and how you can manage with the change, with the change that takes place and how you can uh, basically get on the top of it. This itself is going to provoke you to make some reassessments of your personal standings, okay? Reassessments of how you do your job, how you tackle with your relationship as well, how you, uh, in generally, how you mitigate with people and etc. etc. In generally, it will, it will ask you or it will provoke you to reassess your current positions. And uh, by you doing so, you will realize that you're way more stuck and attentive to the details that does not simply matter rather than being more oriented toward the overview. This from its own accord is going to make you being way more emotionally attached to what can be rather than to what is at that particular point. And that will allow you to go through these difficult times, I would say, with much more ease, at least for the upcoming week. So where this is going to? Uh, to the situation here with the Tree of Wands. So what the Tree of Wands points, it is that because you're sitting on a well-established patterns, meaning that's uh, based on your previous actions, decision-making, uh, work done, and etc., etc., you do now have something established. You do not have a certain options available in front of you, hopefully. But the card points that it is because, uh, to a contrast to the Page of Cups, it is because the change is looming on the horizon, you have to readapt. And the Tree of Wands urges you to readapt in a way of challenging yourself, aiming for more, aiming for higher, which will require from you to put even more on the platter, more and better polished skills, more and... Uh, a better uh, expressed personality if we're talking about uh, relationships, uh, private business and the whole thing, it will urge you to think of a new services to offer and etc. etc. to challenge yourself, to offer from yourself something that you have not shown up until this point that will put you to your utter limit. And that will be awesome for those who doesn't have anything 
because in reality they have nothing to lose so this challenging uh, this challenging environment it will be well welcomed because that could be a, an offer for a challenging job if they are jobless you know but for those who are having a lot that means that they now have to make double time because the because the competition is fearsome everybody is fighting for jobs everybody is fighting for attention everybody is fighting for everything and you just have to make a double time there is no other way how i can say it but uh, if you play your cards right um, and you are attentive to this overview and uh, you address the situation in a mature fashion or with a, a big responsibility then the tree of, of wounds promises you that the expectations you have as a result of your actions you know the expectations in terms of career and in terms of relationships are going to be met so you are going to see things um, developing exactly the way you worked for them to develop and therefore you will be able to secure a, uh, a pretty well ensured future here throughout the week but only once again if you do not slack and you challenge your, your performance you challenge as well your presence uh your love expression your um I don't know if I have to speak for myself my capability to be um what was the English word um oh my god it's not dramatic it's um romantic because i am uh, the the least thing that i can say to myself to myself is that i'm a romantic person but if that was about me you know and it was about a relationship and the car would mean to challenge myself and to be romantic so what will be uh the difficulty here throughout the week which is the challenge itself right so we do have the magician and uh, the magician speaks about the belief that we, we can actually do it you know maybe at that point or you Taurus can actually do it maybe by that point you didn't have to all right the, the world the world was structured in such a way that you were where you you could have gave your best and that was situating you very well but well not throughout this week the world is changing and you have to change with it the thing here is that you do have the capacity to do it uh, and you can do it even better than most of us for what it seems with the magician the only problem that we can see with the card and the challenge it is the determination iron will and the sense of personal sovereignty the card points that all of you Taurus are unique with something you can do or something you can give to the world and uh, this week will challenge you to find what that thing is and to bring it forward and you are going to be well compensated for for that it for for that itself the world the the magician here points that you are to be seen for what you truly are as a matter of fact you have to show yourself as what you truly are because otherwise you are just going to be always in the shadow of somebody else who shows themselves as what they uh, as what they truly are uh, one more thing about the magician is that you may find it a bit tough to get your points across here because the magician affects communicational skills after uh, after all it is representative by mercury uh, in terms of astrology so um yeah you may be a bit more misunderstood than uh, than usual that should not discourage you again that is one part of the challenge here to try and be a bit more elaborative uh, than uh, than usual next one uh, it stands as the gifts and blessing uh, blessings and that is a, a very very promising card first of all because you are in the initial stage of the change you do have the luxury to try it out that is one of the gifts which you are blessed with the ability to make mistakes and to fix those mistakes along the way so what the card here points it is that from whatever action you do that it is addressed to the change which is looming on the horizon the biggest impact negative impact that is it's a kind of a disappointment that it is not a, a definitive disappointment that bounces you back where you start where you have started from and gives you another chance to uh to try it again and um, this time to make it right uh the biggest gift that the seven of cups gives you is about the hopes and the dreams it points that 
whatever you are aiming for, whatever you are trying to grasp and to get a grip of, is it a fantasy or a seeds growing? Well, yet remains to be knowing. So the card pretty much points here that you are gifted with an enormous potential throughout the week or to unfold and an enormous potential. Potential that you even didn't have a clue that you do possess, either in career or either in relationship. Um, in relationship, that could be, for example, you were single for a very long time, years and years back in the days, and you kind of gave up, you know, screw it, I'm going to be in a relationship, I ain't going to try even anymore. Well, that week will challenge you for that because you will probably going to see things are changing. You are not getting attraction or kind of like a bigger, bigger attention than before for one or another reason. That's why you got to challenge yourself, being more romantic, being more accessible, more uh, easy approaching and etc, etc. So uh, that was about the gifts and the blessings. And now we move to the impression that um, you're going to leave into the people around. That will be the nine of wands. Awesome impression here. Um, let's start from the trivia one. Uh, the nine of wands, it's about being patient and about not making, uh, how can I say, definitive decisions without knowing that they will going to produce a hundred percent positive results. Uh, nine of wands in this particular case, it's like uh, you see that storm is approaching and only through patience and careful analysis, you can go through that storm, which is approaching, which is the, um, which is the change and always changes are, you know, they, they bring adaptation with them so we can classify them as a storm, how severe, that depends on every single one of us. But the thing is, is that people are going to see you as a very accountable and very, uh, how can I say it, responsible type of person who likes to make their research and who likes to position themselves in such a way that uh, it will be beneficial for everyone uh, around. Uh, another impression here with the nine of wands are uh, actually two impressions. Uh, is that uh, one of the impression, it, uh, the other impression here is that uh, people will see you determined or kind of like a uh, available to readapt and make some conscious changes into your lifestyle, into your working style, into your love style, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, which is exactly what I uh, what I speak previously. You know, if you weren't romantic, now you are um, willing to make some conscious changes with your behavior to become a little bit more romantic. And the other thing, which is exactly for those who are single, people who are seeing you open to bond this time around. That is uh, in Tot Tarot, that is an interpretation of Alistair Crowley, you know, so who am I to revoke one of the biggest esoterics in uh, our time? And uh, it is exactly how he sees the card, you know, um, uh, in terms of relationships, when the sun and the moon binds. So it's like, like binding, binding, not the opposites, but the impossible here okay so you, you can expect that if, especially if you're single that you may get a lot of attraction throughout uh, the week and the last one is the guidance here five of pentacles regardless of how difficult it looks like you can do it with the five of pentacles because the five of pentacles points that you may see a lot of problems that may come up in the future you know with uh, all that change coming around and you may be freaking out you can save those all of those problems how i'm gonna do it well easy because with the five of pentacles they are not as big as you think they are they are not as big as you make them to be they're just a trifles and how we tackle with trifles we just overwhelm overwhelm them another way of how we can look at the five of pentacles here it is that regardless which we're going through difficulties i mean uh, you're not alone in it uh, there is someone who is uh, willing not to help you exactly but to be emotional support of yours so there is no need for you to turn it a uh, down so that being said taurus this was your weekly general tarot reading april uh, 6 to april 12 uh, 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, if you are interested once again into a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website and on the very front page you're going to see a uh, full list of my services and their pricing and also if you look at the uh, at the top of the page you will see a section of tarot courses if you like the way i read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way sign up for the courses and uh, i will get you covered so hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, stay safe. Bye.